Hello, my name's Jo Blaker. I'm one of the artists from the Hepworth Wakefield. It's great to have you watching today. We're gonna to be exploring sculpture. It's gonna be fun and I hope it's a great chance for you to get creative. Sometimes when we think of sculpture, we think of statues. So an artwork that represents a person. But actually a sculpture can be made of anything and it can represent anything, maybe something we can't see, like a feeling. Barbara Hepworth made sculpture. She also made prints and drawings. I want you to just pause for a moment and think about the difference between sculpture and paintings, drawings, prints. So sculpture is three dimensional and it can often be seen from 360 degrees. To help you have a go at making your sculpture today, I want you first to think of an emotion. Here are a few suggestions. It might be how you're feeling today, or it might be how you'd like to feel today. Now I want you to choose a colour to suit that emotion. There's no right or wrong, it's about what you think for this one. Next, I want you to look around your home and collect objects of that colour. I chose red, here are some of the objects that I found. To help you make your sculpture it's important to think about the different qualities of the objects you find. So I have found objects that are both solid and hollow. I have found objects that are both heavy and light. I've found objects that are flexible and objects that are rigid. It can be interesting to try and collect objects that are made of different materials as well. So I've found things that are made of metal, rubber, paper, textile, wood and plastic. Please don't use anything breakable or delicate, so no glass or china. And please don't use anything that might be special to somebody else. We're going to work up to making your sculpture using a few experiments. The first one is stacking. So we are placing objects one on top of another. I want you to think about what you think might make a good base. So place one object on top of another. Keep working vertically and at the moment I'm stacking kind of centrally. See how high you can get yours. Is that going to balance? I want you to try a few of these, mix up the order, try your different objects and when you've mastered some stacked sculptures centrally like this, just have a go at placing things off centre, seeing what different that difference that makes. If your sculpture falls down, just like mine, just want you to have a think about why. That's how we learn to make sculptures that are stable. When you've had a go at some stacking, is to explore leaning. So this time we're not placing our objects flat on the table, we are resting them at an angle, one against another. Now, what's happening here is that my bottle isn't heavy enough to support the weight of my books. So I've got to try something else to make this sculpture stable. I've turned the box round and those things are staying put. So through these experiments we're exploring stability and weight and balance. All things that are really crucial to making sculpture. And then your next challenge is to combine these techniques to create a sculpture that represents the feeling you chose earlier on. I chose happy and here are some of the sculptures that I created. So for me, happy is a feeling that is sort of bouncy and flowing, it's full of energy, it's not something 
flat it's maybe something that can move in different directions so some of my sculptures have got different parts and I've incorporated quite a lot of curvy shapes because for me they suit the feeling of happy. Try lots of things out, give it a go and make sure you take a photograph before you take that sculpture apart. We focused on how to build your sculpture. The next activity thinks about the environment in which a sculpture is seen and how that might influence how it communicates or what it suggests. So before you take your sculpture apart, get a quick photograph of it or just try and remember as best you can how you've made it because you're gonna take it apart and rebuild it in different places around your home. about which location is the most effective for helping communicate the feeling you were working with and why. Think outside the box, give it a go and if you can photograph your work in each place. Thanks for watching today, I hope you've enjoyed finding out a little bit more about sculpture, giving it a go and um, getting creative. Please do share what you've been up to, we would love to see.